Yeah, we are here just playing a little bit of Cravtopia, and I'm currently just running some dungeons to locate some new boss islands. I've used up all my islands that I have named to different bosses, so I'm looking for fresh ones. And I thought I'd bring the Golden Pico out for a little ride at the same time. So currently, I am working on quite a fair few projects, and I feel like at the moment, every time someone asks me, Actually, we don't need a royal tomb. And at the moment, I feel like every time someone asks me, oh, what's going on with this farm? What's going on with this farm? I just keep saying I'm currently working on it. It will be out soon. Now, the reason for this is because currently it just kind of feels like one thing is happening after another. Most of my farms got pushed back because I was sick with COVID and, you know, things like that. And then we finally get back into the swing of things and a family emergency happens. So my brother is currently in the hospital with a blood clot in his brain and since being in the hospital they have discovered that it's not just one blood clot but it's several now of course this led my family into complete panic so while working on projects i've been going to visit my brother and you know it just it's very hard to find time to edit when you've got so much other stuff going on and the thing is with my guides i don't just do quick edits you know, I like to put a lot of information on the screen. I like to make them look all cool and fancy. So I apologize for any delay that there's been on farms, but there's it's just been kind of all over the place at the moment. But I am working on them. So I figured I would update you guys on exactly what is going on right now in terms of content and the guide. So the guide that is pretty much finished and ready to go is an automatic potion farm. So those of you requesting that farm, that one is done and that will be next up. My biggest project of all that I'm currently working on is a guide to my magic build. I know so many of you have been asking for that one and I promise it is on the way. But I also have a couple of other little gems in the works, one of which being my fully automated mine. Just a bunch of different farms and guides, ones that I would rather just get finished rather than just tell you they're going to be done soon. But check out how weird this is. In one of my last episodes, I mentioned how my spawn points have gone invisible in my base. Well, now my frost mine has gone invisible. If I send out a frost mine, it's completely invisible i no longer have a frost mine i don't know if this is across the board so if you have this problem too please do let me know but i think pocket pair is slowly deleting me from the game <laughs> All of these doors are open for some reason. I swear I've never been through this dungeon. But one project I am specifically working on right now that is a little bit different to just a general video or a general guide, and that is our lab sessions. Now, for those of you who don't know, we do lab sessions where you guys can come and join in the streams and we just mess around with stuff, see what farms we can come up with, and essentially work out some prototypes that will lead to eventual guides. Well, I also have another lab, and my lab is a lab that I keep very secret because it has all all of my guides and farms that I'm working on in that. So it's essentially where I go to just make things work and figure out everything that I know for my guides. Then someone mentioned to me in Discord that they would love to come and have a look around that world. And they felt like they could learn a lot just from looking around. So that's why I have been working on a way to bring you guys to the lab. And not only bring you guys to the lab, but live stream it as well. It essentially means you can be a part of all the creation that goes on behind the guides. You can put in ideas, show your suggestions, or just watch and see how the magic happens. So the way this will be done is it will be done with inside Discord. If you are a YouTube member or a Discord server booster, then you can have access to the chat room and to the live stream. Is this another flur? Oh my god, I don't even need you. I right, we may as well go set that one as a spawn for Fleur. We'll take that. But I am currently figuring it all out right now, so I will drop some more information soon. So yeah, the other day we covered Craftopia's status development report. And it was essentially covering a bunch of stuff that's going to be coming when Seamless drops. And there was some really cool stuff in there. They had like weather changes and a new combat system and new AI, a whole bunch of new stuff. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to go check it out. But it actually got me thinking. They did actually mention in the update how there was going to be merchants available as there is now on various different island levels but the world itself is going seamless so i assume that is confirming that the further we go away the island level does increase which is awesome and i'm fully down for that i think that's actually the perfect way to do it but it's good to have a little bit of confirmation on that that island levels are still going to exist oh my god all of these islands suck so it's going to be very interesting to see how that works i'm actually really glad they're keeping the island levels as i think that's a nice change and let's hope it means we can go above an island level seven and maybe we get some decent boss fights i have no idea 
idea how it's all going to work, but I'm so, so excited. I just want Seamless already. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this little update video. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below with any help at all that you need in the game. Remember to join the Discord. All the links down in the description below. But most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!